Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Long Dark Winter Mutes. I might have to drop some gear. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. Don't worry. It's still dark out. Um, as you can, <laughs> it's even dark in here. But yeah, we'll be fine, right? Um, metal light fixture. Yeah, we don't have the tools to break that down, though. Oh, I'm, sure I'm out of accelerant. That's nice. <laughs> So it's, I guess we just loot here now. Um, it's still nighttime technically, but I've slept long enough. So we'll just start looting with the lantern and hope that things go well. Uh, not sure, let's check. Oh yeah, clothing wise, there's some other stuff that I need to figure out, right? These are a slight bit better because they're in slightly better condition. So we'll just bear them. No reason not to, right? Uh, and uh, yeah, did I not have... Oh yeah, the wool sweater, right. Did I pick up any cloth? I didn't. And we are a little bit over with the bait again. Of course, we always are. And it says R is again instead of R, and we switch it and switch it back to R. It's really a very consistent bug. Uh, I don't really know what I need the simple tools for other than repairing the lantern. Which is in pretty good condition. Almost out of fuel, though. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's just loot and worry about the... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Inventory management is really not my strong suit. As you are well aware, if you've seen anything that I've ever done on YouTube. A pry bar? What condition is ours in? <laughs> 96%. Uh, Hope nobody needs this, anyway. this is 100%. I guess we switch again. It's not a big deal. But, you know, why not, right? Uh, wood matches. They're not bad, actually. Might want to switch. I think I can use this. Painkillers, I guess we'll take. Uh... No. I guess I could break down something into cloth, but... Alright, I think that's it for this area, right? I think we'll just wait to find, to find some cloth somewhere. Let's go... Over here next... I don't remember. I didn't really loot much. No, I guess we looted this because it's empty. Oh, there was something in there, but we left it, so... All right, right. And then down here was nothing, or was there something? There was a corpse. Did we loot that corpse? We did. Let's just trust our past selves. <laughs> and say we didn't leave anything worthwhile behind. I know we need to get to that medical supply thing again. I just want to loot everything first, basically. What is that? Just a red thing on the ground, I guess. All right. Desk's always potentially good, right? I could use this. Maybe find another key for something. Doesn't look good though. Uh, nope, we already did upgrade our mittens. Uh, let's just eat it right away. So yeah, it looks like this is all gonna be a bit more focused on survivor, which I'm happy about, because I feel like I need to relearn. Uh, they are kind of rare as we're taking it, even though it doesn't feel like we need them at all to can open us. And I think I have one on me. 
but maybe they can be trusted for trust, uh, trusted for trust, traded for trust again with the the other guy, Jeremiah this time. Who knows? Not really gotten that far yet. All right, this looks looted to me. Uh, elevator is probably not gonna work. This has no power. We don't need firewood or anything like that. All right. Crackers are really good. Very lightweight. Lots of calories though. Uh, oh, peanut butter is also pretty good. There's lots of food here. Definitely should take the shells. And condition wise, I don't think our pistol is in bad condition. 84%, what, what's this one at? 100. I guess we'll take it. <laughs> and then we unload this one. Can I unload this? Yes, I can. Drop it on the ground. Put out the, ah, uh, well. Put out the new one, reload it. In complete darkness. I don't have that much fuel left. This might might have been a bad idea. Unless we find some more fuel. But you might. I mean we found a lot of stuff already. Can I No uh cancel. I wanted to move this thing. Can I put it back in the box? No. Here's good too. Uh, nah, yeah, no. <laughs> I think I've been in here. I didn't check the corpse. Admin office key. That's definitely useful. Yeah, we don't need any matches right now. A stone. Weird, but yeah, we don't need a stone. <laughs> more more soldiers in the bridge I guess I shouldn't really take them all because I can't carry them <laughs> what can you do broken metal door nope trash can no nope. search trash can there you go Nothing. So yeah. Uh, hmm. Hope nobody needs this anymore. I don't need it. It's gonna be interesting to see how this all plays out. Story-wise, I feel like we're not gonna make a lot of progress anytime soon with Astrid. It doesn't feel like. Maybe we'll get like a little bit of information. Just like from Grey Mother, nothing really concrete though. It's gonna be interesting how how the story really um, develops after that because I mean there's a lot of time passing. I don't know how many weeks I've been. Stuff will come in handy. Well, I've been doing one day per episode, so I'm like two weeks in or something. So yeah, that's a long time. I think I'm running out of fuel. The penmanship on this note suggests the author was in a hurry. I left it in the cave. Head back out from the dam, follow the river, look for a cave near clearing with a hunter's blind. Okay, that's a quest for us. Need to find some fuel. Hope I can still eat this. Yeah, we'll run out of light soon. Which is not good, because it's pretty dark in here. <laughs> Even, you know, just for me alone, without worrying about video. It's gonna be tough. What have we 
here. Uh, yeah, we'll take the crackers. Okay, we need the eight station medically locker key. Where could that be? Back there somewhere, probably. Oh, and yeah, it's not a bear, it was a wolf that lived in the dam. I don't know why I thought it was a bear. I guess it's just because I had, you know, to fight the bear. Well, I didn't really fight the bear, it was just a cutscene. Use this. Right before? I don't know. It doesn't change how much it scared me, though. I felt safe inside the dam, and then I wasn't. Uh, it's getting hard to see. Yeah, that's it. No more light. And yeah, it's gonna take a little bit. Because you could use a flare, I guess. They don't last very long, though, I think. They won't. Oh, that's what I... Okay, that's the key I found on the corpse. Sweet. So we couldn't have done this anyway. The last time. Last episode. I need to dump so much stuff now. <laughs> so yeah, it's a long way home. We're on the very northeast end of the map. And need to get to the very southwest one, so... Uh, light shell. Has no real warmth value of its own. We'll take it and compare it. I think. That's what I always end up doing. Uh, Cut a hydro dam maintenance ticket. The elevator is acting up again. We've checked the mechanicals and they seem fine. Must be something glitchy in the electrical system. Keep an eye on it. It's really the only way to the turbine room. If the elevator gets stuck, It'll be a long walk before you can get back into the control room. Okay. Okay, that's a medical locker key. Sweet, that's really all we needed from in here. But we'll keep checking. There could be other keys. Maybe, maybe someone had a cabin on the lake. <laughs> Stored their key in the office. Who knows, right? Yeah, we don't need any Tinder plugs right now. It's a safe. I really don't need any tea either, but you know. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll check the safe, I guess. We have the time. Can make that could be something useful in there. How did this go again? Oh yeah. Okay, 39 I think. Uh, 44. Forty two, sweet. Could end up being cash, we don't need. The flare shell will take, the book will leave, the stim will take. So not really that great. I wonder if there's like a combination somewhere or if, if you actually have to crack the code here. <laughs> I don't see anything, but you know, I've missed stuff before. <laughs> uh, I think we checked everything, right? Can't take anything from here. Do we need a paper? Yeah, no, I think we're good. 
This flares, flares actually last a little while. I, I feel like we've been worse in the past, or maybe I'm just misremembering. So how much weight is this going to be that I need to carry? Nothing, that's perfect. Carlos Hydro medical supplies, Dusty Case holding medical supplies for the Carlos Hydro first aid station. Hasn't been touched in a while. A bandage will take, painkillers, she will take everything. There. That should help. Morphine. Looks expired, but you never know. Does morphine even expire? I mean, everything has an expiration date, but... How can it go bad? I don't think, I don't think it's gonna matter. Okay. Absolute darkness. <laughs> Perfect. That's what we need. So, okay, 5.6. Oh, this is burned out. We can drop it. Sweet. <laughs> what else can we drop? Oh, yeah, clothing wise. Uh, we wanted to check some stuff out. This, for example, versus. Or I guess this would be more accurate. Um. The windbreaker versus the light shell. It's not as good against. <laughs> it's a little bit better temperature wise. I'm not sure if that's enough to really make a difference. It's interesting they can repair here even though it's pitch black. <laughs> I'm not complaining though, it's fine. I'm, I'm happy about it. Uh, so yeah, this is clearly better. And then this, I guess we'll stick with... I don't know. I think this is actually better. I mean, the windproof bonus is not as good, I guess. I don't know. And here it's between these two, really. Uh, so this has this has the better temperature things. It's warmer. It's not as resistant to rain. I guess that's what that means. <laughs> I hope. Um, it's also heavier though, it slows me down more, we'll leave it. Do I have any extra stuff anywhere that I don't need? We oh, yeah, have work pants, but I, I picked those up somewhere. Um, they're really heavy. It might be a bit better temperature wise and they definitely have better protection wise I'm not sure <laughs> uh, they're so heavy no we'll drop them I'll stick with the cargo pants for now don't have any better underwear yet this is all good we just switch those out perfect all right um, getting close already o only three more we drop, what do we drop? Uh, core maybe? Let's look at the food. There's probably some food that I'm not gonna eat. Can I sort by condition? I can. Let's more deal, let's drop it. I don't wanna risk it. Uh, we have enough better Conditioned D packages. Uh, yeah, that's too. Like, I don't know if they really get bad. Unfortunately, the weight doesn't really. <laughs> doesn't really add up as fast as I'd hope.
All right. We could we could drink. Yeah, we should drink something actually. That's gonna get rid of some weight for sure, and we'll also eat some dusty dog food. Why not? It's gonna be it's gonna be delicious, I'm sure. Which puts us at 31.26 still. <laughs> All right, what do we drop? We drop. I never dropped this, I guess. That helps a bit. One more kilogram, come on. Ah, oh, none of this stuff weighs anything. <laughs> it's almost a waste to drop it. That's that's my problem here. Oh, let's just finish eating this. It's just annoying. A little bit of weight. Okay. One kilogram, what do we drop? Uh, we want to keep the bed roar. We want to keep that, I think, because it's the only one we have, right? Could maybe like drop like two bandages. I don't know. <laughs> drop all of those bad condition painkillers and uh, and I guess we drop these two. Point five. Come on. What can I drop? That would make a difference. That's the key. Has to weigh a little bit of yeah. Drop that and <laughs> I'm so slow. Uh, one flare and then we'll just drop something. Doesn't weigh a lot that we don't need anymore. What am, where am I at it calorie wise? Seventeen fifty. Let's just eat something. And we're, we're good. Some sardines and there we go. <laughs> Just barely, but we, we are, we're good. Is there fuel in there? There is, but if I take it, I'll have too much weight again. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, you, have, you probably can't see a thing in here. Sorry about that. Uh, I'll search and empty. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I guess we're leaving for now. Now the question is... Check in on that old trapper. Yeah, exactly. The question now is, do I actually need to hurry back? Does it matter? We've been gone an entire day. Almost. Or is he just gonna s stay put? And it doesn't matter how long I take to get to him. There's a wolf right there. I'm not very happy about. Okay. He, yeah, he's he's busy. We're fine. Let's maybe sprint just a few steps. Okay, I feel safe enough, I guess. Let's get the rabbit though, that's fine. All right, so I guess we'll just make our way back down um, and then swing by that that Outlook tower post thing next or something. Or maybe we'll just wait for the story takes us, I guess. Because I assume 
just with the great like with the gray mother the the actual story the quests are gonna take us to basically all the landmarks on the map anyway I kind of oh yeah the supply cache where's that this is a bridge Alan's Cave in Missouri Lake. Can I read that note again? I can, right? Is it, uh... Head back out from the dam, follow the river, look for a cave near clearing with a hunter's blind. Okay, that's what we're looking for, a hunter's blind. It's getting kind of cold here. I can't carry anything, I shouldn't really worry about that supply cache right now, but while I'm up here, right? Where am I? Like, I'm here. I need to go down the river more. I think. Is it gonna show up on my map? No, weird. You're not very good at running away, dear running straight at me. Is this ice gonna crack? I hope not. <laughs> A clearing. Follow the river. I might be following the river a little bit too literally. I might have to be up there. Not sure. Walking, walking is so slow. <laughs> a horse would be nice. Ride around on a horse. <laughs> a bike, something. I don't know where I am now. This doesn't look right. Am I here? Maybe. We'll find out. We'll find it eventually anyway. Pretty confident. Okay, enough running for now. We might have to run away from the boar for something. Oh, I didn't... Oh, that's just a... Uh, right. Can't carry anything right now. <laughs> we, won't, we won't harvest anything. Just keep going. I'm not sure if I'm going the right way for a supply cache. It doesn't feel right. I kind of do want to know what's up here though. There's a wolf at least. There's a hunter's blind. Okay, so this is the right spot. Just need to find a cave. Is this, is this a cave? No, not really. Well, kind of. It is a cave. And I'm sure that this is the supply cache over here. Yes. Well, well. What do we have here? Ah, well, that's good. We can't carry it. <laughs> Where did that wolf go? Right there. Too much stuff to carry. Yeah, you'll be fine. It's crazy how you know 
how good how good this guy is at noticing that he's just just a tiny little bit over capacity okay. 30 kilograms no problem but 31 ah oh, it's too heavy I can't I can't do it <laughs> oh man whatever okay we should be a a little bit closer now, weight wise. It's. I feel kind of bad, but it's like wasting food. But then I guess. I mean, the calories just tick down. I don't know. Like, I don't have to be f fed all the way all the time, I guess. 3.6. Yeah, this weight managing thing is gonna kill me. <laughs> I hate it. Ah, I'm so bad at it. I have way too many Tinder blocks, but. I, it doesn't feel worth it to drop them. I can drop the newsprints, I guess. And then... This. Sweet. Let's go. So, we are... right here. So if I just follow the river... That's probably the best way to go now. I get close to the lake. I'll have to walk over the lake, basically. That's not nice. Am I going the right way? I gotta turn around now. Yes, I am. Okay. But this guy ran that way too. Hmm. I can't see him anymore. Maybe we loop back up. It's just. Oh, it's, it's a pretty big detour. <sighs> ah, but the, yeah, I don't want to get attacked again. <laughs> Ah, and there's no way over this mountain. Well, mountain. This hill. This... I don't know. Can't climb up this cliff. And this looks... Yeah, I can't climb any of this. I should've just gone south, I guess. I could always, you know, shoot again. Just get a wolf off again. But yeah, that's definitely something we should keep in mind. Wolves near near the the cave there on both sides of it. Alright, walking back. <laughs> Not the most exciting thing, but you have to get back down to the trapper. Ah oh, my it's getting too heavy again because I'm getting tired, I guess. Yeah, not great. I'm carrying way too much food around with me. I should just, I'll, I'll just store all my food and we'll just take what I think we'll need, you know, for our next expedition. I should have done that before, but I don't know. I feel like I'm I'm never really settled down enough to do that. And you never know, you know, maybe you get ca caught in a snowstorm and you have to spend the night away and then you don't have food. I don't know. We'll be fine though. Wow, this is even slower. Walking through the snow. I guess it's cold too, huh? Ah, uh, yeah. That's not that bad, actually. Minus six. Negative six. <laughs> Whatever. It's not that bad. I'll be fine. I think I hear stuff moving up there. Oh, 
Maybe it's just my own steps again. <laughs> Who knows? Alright, on the rails again. Just follow the rails. And let's only sprint to like half and then we'll let it get four again. So it's like a compromise between walking very slowly and not being able to run away in case you get attacked. There are some wolves somewhere around here, right? When we came north. Definitely need to check out all of that. The derailment, I think that's about halfway there. I don't know. I really don't. I can't zoom out on this map, which is a bit annoying. Yeah, it's not quite halfway, I guess. Because we have to go over there too. Not just to the end of the, the rail. I need a screenshot still, let's just take one right here. It's very dark, but that's fine. All right, so what's the best way to go here? Because the way I, I went when we, when, we, when we went north wasn't really the best way. Because I, I tried to go over there first, and then I wasn't sure where I was going, and then I turned east towards the rails. So I don't know. There might be a better way to go for like a valley in between two of the hills or something. so far so so far back at the lake office building thing I wonder what's next we'll find out though I also wonder how many supply caches there are lots of things And I also wonder if the trap is going to be the only living person we see in this part of the story mode here. Because the first, the first episode only had the Grey Mother, basically, right? Well, I mean, I guess in the cutscenes it was um, Astra too. Yeah, I think through here. This is, I think is this is where we are. I'm not sure. But we need to we need to go off track a little bit so we can figure out where things are. Are those houses over there? The little, little cabins? I don't know. I really don't think I have time. Oh well, I mean space mostly <laughs> to check them out. So another thing we could do actually is store food like at the like you know at the office building and the, the derailment or over the map like a squirrel and then when we get in trouble we just go there and, and, and get our stuff back yeah I definitely need to check that out at some point oh that's oh that's the that's a ruin right I think there was a wolf over there. I think we saw that before. I'm not sure now. Hope we're going the right way. I'm not I'm not certain. I 
it is kind of hard to see. But I'm pretty sure <laughs> if you get like past this little hill here, it will be where we need to go. I might be wrong though. That's that's a distinct possibility. It's actually you know some some calories, some energy. Not that that really. Well, I guess, I mean, it is a thing. But the only thing that will help me now is to dump some stuff. <laughs> Maybe a cup of coffee. But I don't, I d really don't think it would be worth it to start a fire or anything like that, so. Uh... <laughs> this doesn't look right. I hope I'm not lost. I mean, we can always go back to the, the tunnel and then just follow the, the edge of the map from there. Not sure why I feel so tired. Probably because you are. Oh yeah, there it is. Sweet. It was just one more hill in between. Okay. There's always one more hill. But we made it. Well, almost. Shouldn't talk too soon, I guess. Oh, my edge is not coming back. <laughs> but we're almost there. Come on, you can do it. I feel safe enough to put this away now. This might actually work as a screenshot too, but I, I don't know, everything's gonna look the same as long as it's snowing. <laughs> it's just all gray and dark. Oh, those are graves, I shouldn't walk there. <laughs> there we go. That's a long walk. Hey, old guy. Hey. Hey, you still with me? Shit. I mean, he's moving. Still alive. Uh, what's your name? <coughs> Call me Jeremiah. I went to the dam, found some supplies that should help. Oh, thanks. Because my insides hurt like hell. <sighs> what did you find? General meds. Painkillers, antibiotics, and what looks to be some old vials of morphine. <laughs> morphine? Easy. Hopefully your pain won't get that bad. You alone out here? <sighs> What's it to you? What the hell are you doing out here anyway? Hey, don't get excited. I'm just looking for someone. The only thing you should be looking for is a way to kill that bear. Bear? Uh, yeah. He'll be back soon enough. And when he is, I'll be ready. <coughs> Shit. Ready for what? You can barely sit up. Uh, that bear is a man killer. If we don't finish him off, no telling what savage fury he'll unleash. We? I, 
I'm just on my way through the area. That bear's got nothing to do with me. <laughs> Listen, stranger. You aren't going anywhere. Like it or not, you and me have a problem in common. Neither of us is going to survive unless we kill that damn bear. All right. Can tell me more about the area around us. This whole area takes its name from Mystery Lake nearby. Not much here. Some old cabins here and there. Railway passes through. Campground around the lake's closed for the season. Mostly dead most of the year. You alone out here? Pretty much. Whole island's mostly abandoned now. Few scattered groups left. No real industry. A rare supply boat from the mainland. That's really the only lifeline for the new folks. For, for the few folks, <laughs> folks that still live on Great Bear. Sounds like a pretty quiet place. Just the way we like it. We? You're from the mainland. You wouldn't understand. How's your pain? Everything hurts like hell, but I'll live. You want something stronger than painkillers? No, I... Yeah, I do, but I'll be okay. You seem pretty excited when I mentioned morphine. Morphine? Nah, that stuff's dangerous. Especially the old stuff. Addictive. Makes you feel like you're floating. In a dream. Right. What's the story with this bear? The story's real simple. That bear and me, we have unfinished business. Unfinished business? Yeah, you could call it a trade in kind. Every time we meet, we each leave with a little of the other's blood. Sounds like a losing proposition. <laughs> I'm sure it will be for one of us. Alright. Uh, so much to talk about. Alone? You're alone out here? Yeah, I keep to myself, hunt a bit, fish in the summer, keep my trap lines for. Once every couple of months, I head down to Rupert's Landing, trade for what I need. You have some way to call out of here, like a radio? No, who do I need to talk to? Don't like people much? I don't. Seems odd to have a dam in such a pristine piece of wilderness. Yeah, this place has always been ruined by greed. The dam looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Yeah, the big quake years ago shut that, shut that nonsense down. Quake? Shit, don't you know anything, mainlander? <laughs> uh, I guess I must have forgot. Railroads, coal, logging, mining, hydro. Whole island's basically a perfect wilderness that's been slowly destroyed by industry over the past oh, 100 years or so. Well, that's a kind of progress, right? People need jobs. They need to feed their families. Wah, it doesn't matter. Quake put an end to all that. And things are changing. What things? Haven't you noticed? Since the lights in the sky, the world is quiet now. You see those lights in the sky a few nights ago? Yeah. I saw them. We see the northern lights this far up, but I've never seen anything quite like that. I'm a bush pilot. Those lights took my plane down. Nearly died in the crash. Now I need to find my... I had a passenger with me. Dead? I sure hope not. We were on our way to Perseverance Mills. You know it? Shit, nothing town. A few hours north. Sounds about right. Yeah, I know it. You're the first person I've seen in months. I haven't seen your friend. The phone lines are down. Nothing electrical seems to be working. You think it has something to do with the flash of light? Uh, could be. Wildlife's been acting weird, too. Wolves, mostly. Hanging around more than usual. Like they're waiting. Waiting? For what? I don't know. But I have a bad feeling about it. Look. Maybe we can help each other. I don't know. I need to get out there and look for my friend. Well, I have an idea that might help you find who you're looking for. But with that bear out there and me laid up in here, well, you're as good as dead. Thanks for the vote of confidence. What do you have in mind? Well, with that bear on the prowl, you'll never survive long enough to find your friend. And I can't do shit from in here. But I can guide you. You do what I say, 
and I'll keep you alive. And what's in it for you? Uh, we'll talk about that. But first, you need some protection. Hand me my rifle. Ugh. Ah, shit. What I was afraid of. That shot you took hurt the rifle more than the bear. My rifle's done. Shit. Sorry. You have a backup? No. No backup. But I know where you might be able to fix it. Great. Where? Old railway yard. About a day's travel south. Along the tracks. There's a machine shop there. I used to trade for time on the tools to keep my gear in order. Bush pilot like you should be able to handle them. I'll see what I can do. Listen. Stay along the tracks. Keep your eyes open for the old bear. If you see him, hide and pray he doesn't pick up your scent. Don't get cocky. Or we'll both end up dead. Got it. Good luck, pilot. Maybe we'll make a survivor out of you yet. All right. I just it just occurred to me there's no there's no second bed here. <laughs> so we definitely have to sleep in the bed drawer. All right. I guess we'll do that even though it's not really time for bed yet, but I'm I'm exhausted. <laughs> So he'll be fine with that, right? Just sleep next to the fire here. Yeah, he doesn't mind, that's fine. Oh, <laughs> wow, wait, this, yeah. Dropping and dropping. Let's just end it here. It's, the timing is weird today, but whatever. And uh, I guess I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.